Hello, this is Roxanne, and this is a little, I don't know, itemization of what your next and your final writing assignment is that has to do with HOPE. There's tons of information about HOPE in your learning module, but when I was looking at it today, I realized there's not really an actual assignment that goes step by step about what you're doing. So first of all, um, let's take a look at the screen. You'll notice I have my header, and you guys need to there's a few of you still not doing your header. Um, English 151, Bon Jean, All Seasons Forever. In your paper, you're going to have um, a, your name, the class number, my name, and then the date. Okay, so this is a very mini research essay, and this is what you're going to be doing. You're going to write a very mini research essay. Your very mini research essay is based on hope. You will research two noteworthy events that offer you hope. How? You're going to choose two noteworthy events or subject that offer you hope. These are events that are in the news right now. Um, they're, so they'll be very easy for you to get information about. You're going to research these two noteworthy events or subjects. There is a how to research video to view. There is a video made by me reviewing how to create the very mini research essay, very mini outline. There is an example of a partial final draft for you to look at. It has my um, intro and body paragraph one. It does not have body paragraph two, but it does have the outline for body paragraph two, and it has the works cited page. So you can see what your paper is supposed to look like. Uh, however, it's going to look very similar to your favorites paper because it's going to follow that format. Um, what else? So when you're researching, you first choose two noteworthy news topics that give you hope. Um, most people choose two or three just because uh, sometimes you might have your heart set on one and then you really can't find any evidence that um, that's helpful in your paper. And um, you're going to define hope first of all and it can be a def definition from any source. It can be the dictionary, <coughs> excuse me, it can be um, a quote about hope by someone famous, it can be a um, from the Book of Mormon, from the Quran, from the Bible, from the Talmud, whatever religious text or um, any other place where you would get a definition of hope. It can't be your mother's definition of hope, however. Um, and if your mother has a great definition of hope, I'm sure that you could put it in the Google box and find someone who said something similar to it. Um, then you're going to find evidence of hope subject number one, and it's the evidence that offers you hope. It's the part of the story that offers you hope. And then you're going to find evidence of the second hope subject. And again, this is going to be evidence that offers you hope. Um, now, regarding the noteworthy subjects that offer you hope, I'd like to really take a look here. These need to be two noteworthy present-day news subjects that offer you hope. For example, if you choose the legalization of marijuana for medical purposes as your one of your subjects for hope you need to have a personal reason why this is important to you because it should be legalized for those who need it is not an appropriate reason for this paper however if you or a loved one would have benefited or have benefited from the legalization of marijuana for medical purposes then that can work but it has to be something you're hoping for so if it's already happened um, you need to find something having to do with medical marijuana that offers you hope. So offering you hope is the, is key here. Also, just to reiterate, it needs to be a noteworthy news story. It has to be happening right now. Um, and it can be lots of different things. Last semester, someone wrote about her hope um, that marriage is coming back as a popular form of a living arrangements. And um, she actually used a photo and some um, textual evidence from um, 19 Kids and Counting because um, I guess one of the daughters got married and the whole courtship versus dating thing and it was really interesting so some people did that one person just a minute let me check okay I have minutes okay some um, someone wrote about the tiny houses that I guess now are, there's a TV show about them but how um, she was hoping the environment would stay alive by the 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 implementation of the tiny house. Um, those are just two that I can think of right now. But anyway, 
those are um, some subjects that offer hope. So what I need you to do is find two subjects that offer you hope that are in the news today and you're going to research them. How do you research them? I know I've already said this, but there's videos located in the learning module for you. Um, as far as the outline goes, I'm just going to say, okay, I just graded research papers for my English 1A class and they were not required to submit an outline. And I can't tell you how many C minuses, and those are me being very nice, um, are in that class. And it's because the people who did not submit an outline or did not submit a sincere outline, one that wasn't slapped together at the last minute, um, their papers suffered because of it. So there's a purpose for an outline. So make sure that your outline is purposeful, that you spend time on it. And then I go into your papers when you submit them to the discussion board and I write all over them. Um, and I ask you questions and I offer suggestions and your peers can offer suggestions as well. Um, and so I just really encourage you to use the outline and again I have two videos about two different kinds of outlines. One's a scratch outline and one's a mini outline. I prefer you do the mini outline. You can do the scratch one if you want. Um, it's not that helpful but um, it doesn't take that long either. So I'm done blathering. Have a great week. Email me if you need to. I have office hours Wednesdays from 7 to 9. And thanks to those of you who visit me on, those day, <laughs> on that day at those hours. And I'll talk to you soon.